wondering if any thought is given to blurring the boundary between conventional and palliative so that it doesn't become a death sentence to mm -hmm. make that transition. Yeah. So can, you know, you can go into palliative care and but there are therapies there that you might you might you might survive. Yeah. Well, so at the national level, this is something that is happening. <coughs> um, at the local level where I was, it was it was something that was they were the physicians in palliative care were trying to push for this, but it was not working yet because they really hadn't been able to you know really push push their idea upon other patients. But the the idea is that. If you are diagnosed with a life-limiting illness, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to die. But if, you, if you're diagnosed with cancer, um, that is, it could be a terminal cancer, you immediately get placed with two physicians that are working together. This is part of the problem, how to have two physicians that are actually coordinating care with each other effectively. But one physician is your oncologist, and the other physician is your palliative care physician. And it's kind of this wedge-shaped idea where you have, here's time increasing, and this is palliative care, and this is conventional. In the beginning, conventional care is driving the system, and palliative care is just there to introduce the idea that eventually I'm going to be helping you a lot more. And then as time goes by, you need more help with your symptoms. I'm going to increase. Now we're 50-50. You're getting your chemotherapy, and now you're also getting a lot of supportive help in quality of life, making sure that you're comfortable, making sure that you can still do the things that you want to do. And then by the time you die, palliative care is 100% in the driver's seat. 